one way they love to test the inheritance patterns on the USMLE exam is they present you with the patient's condition. They expect you to diagnose by yourself and they ask you what is the inheritance pattern of this patient's condition. For example, let's look at this question. A 27-year-old male presents in the ER with history of episodic headache. His blood pressure is 185 over 100. Family history is significant for clear cell renal carcinoma in his father that resulted in death. The exact cause of the father's death is thought to be bleeding in the brain. The inheritance pattern of this patient's diagnosis is which of the following? So they present you with A, autosomal dominant, B, autosomal recessive, C, X-linked recessive, D, X-linked dominant, and E, mitochondrial pattern inheritance. So with this, you can diagnose this as the patient most likely has von Hippolendo. Von Hippolendo is associated with clear cell renal carcinoma. They have capillary hemangiomas. They also have um, they also have pheochromocytoma, and they can have pancreatic tumor as well. So this is how they present it, and you are supposed to figure. But when I was studying for the step one, I realized that it was hard to remember which condition is autosomal recessive, which one is autosomal dominant, which one is X-linked dominant, or X-linked recessive. So I came across this mnemonic, and I want to give it share with all of you, so that going forward it makes studies easy for you. Kindly subscribe to this channel and let me know how. If you feel about this video under the comment and if you want more of this video just let me know so the mnemonic to remember the autosomal dominance is as follows it is a song and you have to sing it several times and if you do that before your exam you know it so anytime you are doing your UL you practice it Anytime you are doing NBME, you use it. And when you go into your exams for the step one, when they ask a question, you quickly sing it in your mind and you pick your answer. So this is how it goes. This is for the autosomal dominant. Check our other videos for the autosomal recessive mnemonic as well. Von, Von, Ailes, R, B, M, E, N. Tubes and Spheres and Huntington, Marfan, Erlas, Lee. Von, Von, A L S R B M E N. Tubes and Spheres and Huntington, Marfan Air Las Lee. So, this mnemonic puts together most of the, most of the autosomal dominant conditions that they ask on the USMLE. But this is not all. What is not included? Two important conditions I did not include in this mnemonic are familial adenomatous polyposis coli, and neurofibromatosis. For neurofibromatosis, they have multiple neurofibromas on their skin. So that make, makes it dominant, or somehow dominant. It dominates over their skin. And also the APC, the familial adenomatosis polypo, uh, polyposis, they have a lot of... Uh, um, polyps in their intestine. So that also makes it dominant because it dominates over the intestine. So going forward, you have to sing this song several times and practice makes perfect. And I, you can sing with me once more. And so this is how it goes. Von, Von, A-L-S, R-B-M-E-N. Tubes and spheres and Huntington. Marfan Earl Asley. Tubes and Fierce and Huntington. Marfan Earl Asley. So if you if you look, we have two Vaughns. The first Vaughn is Von Hippo Lendo. The second Vaughn is Von Willebrand disease. ALS. Amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. 
RB is retinoblastoma. MEN -M -E is multiple endocrine neoplasia. Tubes. Tubes is tuberous sclerosis. Spheres, hereditary spherocytosis. Huntington, Huntington disease. Marfan, Marfan syndrome. Ehlers, Ehlers Danlos syndrome. And Lee is Lee from many syndrome. So this is it. Repeat this song several times. I'll sing with you once more, and you have to do the rest by yourself. Vaughn, Vaughn, A L S R B M E N. Tubes and spheres and Huntington, Marfan Erlas Lee. I hope you find this video helpful. Let me know how you feel about this video, and I wish you good luck in your exam. Subscribe and check my next video uh, for the X-Link recessives as well. Thank you. Good luck in your exam. Bye.